Hi guys, in today's video we're going to look at the giant metallic lattice, properties of metals including a high melting point, their electrical conductivity, malleability and ductility, and finally an exam style question. What do we mean when we talk about the giant metallic lattice? Well, we'll come across a lattice structure in terms of giant ionic and covalent lattices. And what it is, it's when we have millions of ions put together in layers and it's a 3D structure. And this is quite similar to what we have in metals, except in metals, the arrangement of the positive ions and negative electrons is slightly different. In metals, we have something called delocalized electrons and they're spread throughout the structure. And what we mean by that is the electrons are completely free to move. They're not localized, they're not bound to these positive ions. The charges, the negative electrons can flow throughout the structure. And that's why you'll sometimes hear the metallic lattice described as a rigid lattice of positive ions with a sea of delocalized negative electrons. Now that's reflecting the fact that the negative electrons are free to flow and move anywhere they like. However, the charges are balanced throughout the structure. So although negative electrons can move wherever they like, they will balance out the positive ions. And it's these negative electrons and their delocalization that gives metals some of their special qualities, something we'll have a look at now. So the general properties of metals are that they have a high melting and boiling point, they're good electrical conductors, and they're both malleable and ductile. So let's have a look at each of those properties individually. The high melting point. Well, metals, within their structure, there's a strong attraction between the positive ions and the negative electrons. Now, the positive ions, as we mentioned, are fixed in their rigid positions, but the negative electrons are free to move. However, there remains a very, very, very strong attraction between the negative delocalized electrons and the positive rigid fixed ions. And this means that lots of energy and a high temperature is required to overcome these bonds, break down the rigid lattice that we have and melt or boil our metal. And that's, you, you will uh, come and, come across that before if you think about metals you know kind of gold silver platinum zinc at room temperature you can hold them they're solids and we'll know that if you've ever come across things like jewelry making or soldering or things like that high temperatures are required to melt metals so conductors now electrical conductivity is one of the most useful properties of metals and the reason that metals are conductors and they have these delocalized electrons present throughout the structure now these electrons are able to move freely and this is what allows metals to carry current hey guys to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific a level chemistry videos click the button join me today and together let's make a level chemistry a walk in the park